Okay, I'm test driving a new keyboard. Running uh, hotkeys on a Cherry G86 out of Germany. Got the hotkeys here I can buy at the market. I got two keyboards running, so. Looks like I'm going to buy a dollar Canadian right now at the market. Supposed to buy a big position there for a scalp. And then I've got a delete all objects macro across all charts. And take everything off. Looks like uh, that's about um, 32 keystrokes on one key. I'm going to go down to the uh, other broker, clear off all these pendings. Not the pendings, but the uh, objects that were created during the pending drop. Now I can come in here and lay uh, an order that's a half hour. It's just a dedicated, dedicated hotkey. And when the next tick comes in, it's going to repaint the 100 supports. So it's the euro dollar. Then um, here I'd be buying four hours from now down deep. So I'm going to go take a nap and come back and get this fill. I think this is going to be a good buy here. Bounce off of this area, the apex of that triangle. Going to come back there. So I want to get in right, right there. Um, same thing here probably. Get in on a plunge back. If we can get back to this support. Same thing here I think. So it's going to take four hours for this. is a 15 minute chart. So it could conceivably run down there pretty hard. I bought this thing earlier on the um, plunge out of some news came out of Australia. So I got in on that one. And now I want to go to the uh, my experimental. I guess you got to put your uh, sunglasses on because I'm going to go to a broker that's all written in uh, white background. I know a lot of people trade with the colors on, and I do too, but the monitor uh, brightness is critical uh, for that. I'm going to go to the um, uh, this demo account that's running uh, this. Uh, now this one, you can see the tickets. So I'm going to delete all objects here, and then I'm going to um, come back with some scripts. And this is actually daily charts, and all these little dotted lines are 10 pip handles, and the big lines is 100 pips. So, for instance, here on this broker, um, I've just kind of been playing around. I think this account started out with like five grand or something. I've been just kind of punishing it with uh, test driving this concept. But I actually created a script that um, places orders on eight charts. Um, a hot key one one touch puts um, about uh, uh, 20 orders in other words well let's say five entries and each entry has a stop and a take profit so that's like 15 orders per chart one key um, now this is a, a buy limit I could have it place uh, different orders on different charts randomly, but um, MetaTrader doesn't really have any sequence, apparently, when you... I'm tabbing. I wrote a macro with tab in it, so it's like a, a person has done it. So it's really a one-click entry here. I'm going to launch it right now. So now... And that's only got one indication. The dot on there is the last order in the order bank. So it's actually placing quite a bit of orders. I forgot to turn on the uh, the time window. So you can see the orders coming here. Um, they're going to last for an hour. Let me see if I can... I'm going to do the sell side now. Okay, I guess I had the, the time wrong there. Right, so switch to the... Uh, he has the sell orders coming. These are the half hour orders. So it just totally blankets the uh, now if any of these things overload the broker when I go to delete all objects I would know because then um, 
it would it would lock. So I when I delete all these objects, if they all come off, you have no scripts that are hanging. It's almost like a it's not only delete all objects, but it's gonna flush everything out. So uh you get back to um square one here. The the tickets are, of course stay behind. You could delete all you could have a hot key to delete all uh pendings too. But uh yeah, so I have to just um but here if I come back individually, I think I'd want to buy here. So I would launch this one on this broker. So I'll buy in that range and this one buy a really deep retest maybe if we can make a new low. This one doesn't have a uh, any dots associated with it. Uh, here would be the same order on the euro dollar entering. I don't know if you can see it filling in. Here's a, uh, a little, here's one with a dot. Oh, I guess I reached the maximum on this broker, so. Oh well. So when you delete all objects, that's when you're going to find out if you've reached the max limit of what the broker lets you place as far as tickets orders or whatever you call them and uh, as these handles come in you can see that the next tickets come in and cause the indicator to repaint and um, but yeah that's uh, it's just kind of a, a grid system trading but uh, instead of an EA you could just walk up to this chart and think yeah I probably want to sell this swing high here on the daily and if you can get me any anywhere up in here it'd be great price and can't really nitpick about you know how many tenths of a pip kind of just have to think in terms of um, does this seem like a good place to sell like dollar Canadian I'm you know, pretty outlandish but could still go higher right uh, it's still keep tre treading north but I'd be a seller up there and I'd be a buyer down there so I could just um, lay a blanket of orders and you know not get too not get too picky so since I reached the maximum on this broker I'm going to uh, invoke the close all open and pending orders and I, I always hate to do this because it just seems like I'm giving up but um, just so I can play around with the uh, the order placement thing and relaunch some of these uh, coming into some drama here uh, four minutes before the bottom of the hour typically you get a you get some psychotic stuff going on so it looks like I'm getting filled right here as I sit so we're, we're getting enough drama here to make it worth the uh, to sit around here I guess maybe I'll uh, um, now here let me just take this off so this is what this looks like and this broker is pretty quick this is the demo though so God knows what a real account would be at this broker probably it's like forever to close all these tickets but if you just drag and drop that on the screen now it's going to clear off everything on here so I can start off with scratch and really abuse this account good start with 5,000 in here and if I had to delete all these tickets manually, I think I I think I'd blow my brains out. Look, it's hung up on a couple. Uh, there you go. Got a little, I guess I couldn't get out of this one. It's too close to getting filled, maybe. Okay, that's a good enough start. Now, um, yeah, I've only got a few hotkeys assigned right now to this thing, but it's definitely a blast to think that uh, now this ticket here is going to last, I think, for an hour. So here, my buy tickets last for an hour. So they just filled the whole, they just literally put in like, you know, what, 40 orders, 35 orders. So totally into this side of the market. And then on the sell side, I'd come in with this one and then just walk away. And that's a half hour on that bank. Um, let me relaunch it. So you can see it coming in on top there. So all those things, actually these are far from being filled. But that's like... I don't think I maxed the broker out here now. If I could just come back in an hour, the half hours one, the half hours are sells and the one hours are buys, and it really doesn't matter. In my mind, it doesn't matter because if the script is written in a way to make money, it doesn't matter. In other words, if you're exited here and you take profit and your stops tight, um, you just let the market go through its chaotic movement and forget analysis. I mean, I guess you could make. Um, I do have a breakout uh, ticket that I did write, so let me delete all objects here, and, and I did um, actually write for the first time a, a 
stop entry. Not a big fan of stop entry, but um, it definitely is uh, uh, kind of a passive way to get in. In other words, here, I could buy a stop entry on this um, if this was an hourly for sure. And just to, just to execute it, show what it looks like, um, look like this. I think it's actually going to just put one order in. It's not going to not going to blanket it with a ton of orders. Yeah, it should come up as a, uh, as a buy stop here. Maybe I deleted this off of the... Yeah, I think I call it a breakout. Yeah, maybe the... Maybe the you know what the problem is? They're a little bit too, still too tight on the, uh, or maybe that there hasn't a tick come in yet. So, so at this point, I would do the delete all objects, just to make sure nothing's pending there. Okay, here's here's we'll try it on the pound here. Stop entry. Okay, it just put in the order there. Apparently, either this currency isn't trading right now, so the script's going to hang until the next tick comes in to activate. Uh, that script that's hanging. This actually does put a a ball, um, or you can see a picture of the ball there. It's kind of kind of buried in all the order banks, so you can't really see it. But that's a stop entry. Um, now on the one hour, I guess it would make sense to me if we took out this um, this high right here. This actually, I think I got a five minute chart. To me, it could feel like you're, uh, okay, so there, see, there's a stop entry. So if I was going to do that and then come underneath with a pending, but not, never get in at the market. So here's my pendings below, and I'm not even in it. You know, let me just get out of that. So I'm not even in the market right now. And if I put a stop above, and I could actually drop one of these every five minutes or every hour. And if the market goes up, it's going to pick me up into that. I could buy at the market. Let me buy one at the market here. And then have these stop entries here and the pennings below. So if we spike back into here, I get in there. So now I'm in really light, small position. I got my pendings um, waiting to get filled. And uh, these orders will delete in 15 minutes. The ones that are really close to the market, the ones that are further away, are going to uh, last longer. And, uh, you know, it's about exposure to the pendings will self delete. See, now this, this is probably not going to be the greatest trade in the world because I just bought at the market, but I did buy at a under, at the bottom of the range of here. So, you know, uh, British pound maybe try to retest up in here but I think all the real cool money is going to be down here where possibly a spike down into um, you know the old uh, stop hunt story and then that would, inv that would involve placing orders like this we get in really thick down here looking for it to plunge in there and bounce out and retrace up in there right there so now everything's off so anyway that's my my new toy